introduction to properties of multiplication. Before we assign the properties here, let's review what these properties actually mean. So since these are the properties for multiplication, we start with identity. Identity means that if you take a number and multiply it by one, any number times one, you get the same number that you started off with. So that's identity. And commutative means that if you take two numbers and you are multiplying them, you can multiply them in the opposite order and you will get the same thing. Two times five is the same thing as five times two. Now for associative, if we had three numbers being multiplied, if we grouped the first two together, or if we grouped the last two together, we would have the same result. So it doesn't matter which order we multiply in. And then the zero property says that if you take any number and you multiply by zero, your result will be zero. So that's our zero property. Now, looking back up at the examples, the top one, we have nine times something equals nine. Well, the only thing that we can multiply nine by to get nine is one. So I would put my one in there, and that is our identity property. And then for B, we have four times something equals six times four. It looks like the only thing that's being changed there is the sequence, four times six, six times four, so that is commutative. The next one has four times three times eight put together equals four times three times, well, the other number there that has to be multiplied is eight. And it's the order and the grouping that has changed. So that is the associative property. And then lastly, some number times seven equals zero. The only number that we can multiply seven by to get zero is zero, and that is the zero property.